So this will be part 18 of our complete application and this is where we are currently and today we are going to be setting up the country controller, the service and the repository. The reason is because we have in the database, we have list of countries right now. That's the only data we have in our database and we want to actually fetch this data and display it on a HTML web page. And to do that, you need to understand the concept of the concept of MVC, Model View Controller. And to, to clarify this, let me just show you how it works. So you just go to Google, type in crew, then crew tutorial Spring Boot kind son, just like this. So it takes you to this page, just click on this first one. Now this is a different tutorial, a short tutorial you can follow. But I want us to just take a look at this place. So permit me to just uh, put this side by side with my application. So let me just come here. Again, if you are joining me for the first time, please remember to subscribe. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button. And also, I, this, if you are a beginner, please go back to start from the first part as, as this is a series that continues. All right, so you can see how an MVC application or a web application is designed. We have our data store. In this case, it's, it's a MySQL database now, what is a repository? A repository is an interface. Uh, you have to create this interface in your application as an interface file that interfaces with your database to fetch data, to insert data, to delete and to update and to do other things. The business service is called a business service because it's, it's, it's kind of a, a layer between the repository and the controller. So here is where you write your logic. In business service, you write your logic how to manipulate your data before you actually send it across to the user. Now, what is a REST controller? A REST controller or a controller is a file that actually uh, receives the request coming from the user and decides what to do with this request, whether to send it back to the user or to go to a database to fetch some data or whatever. So the mappings of the URL to the actual methods is done in the controller. And of course, this is the HTML page. So let's see how all this plays out in our application. So the first thing I'd like us to do is that if you go to your properties uh, file here, change this init mode to never. Temporarily, let's leave it to, as never because if it's always, it's always going to try to, to insert this data or to initialize this database again by trying to insert this data again. And it's gonna give us uh, um, have duplicate key error will be will be will be will be thrown here so just set this to never for now we're gonna talk about this a little later so here i'm gonna go to my controller and create a new java class and call it country controller because now we want to uh, insert or display a list of countries we have in our database and the controller class you're going to annotate with add controller annotation and if you go to repository this time you have to create an interface so if you're creating a repository it's going to be an interface so click on the interface here and call it country interface and the interface now is going to extend uh sorry is actually country repository repository so if you change your file name it's going to give you an error and uh, so what you are going to do to correct this, simply click on this and choose more actions and choose rename file is going to simply rename the file to country repository. All right, so you're going to make it to extend JPA repository and specify the class that you are interfacing with and the class in this case is country because as a country repository we are talking about. And then we are going to specify at the second uh, item here is going to be the the primary key type so the primary key type for the country is integer what it means is if you go to country in the models you have the country here you have the primary key here is integer so that's what we specify right there all right so country repository you are notated with a repository and finally we are going to create the service so i'm going to i'm going to the service now i'm going to create new Java class and it's going to be country service, okay? And this is fine and you annotate it with the add service annotation. 
Now you need to wire these four items, all these items, you need to wire them together. So to connect the repository with the service, so you are going to go to the service, so you're going to go to the service, you're going to auto-wire the repository into the service, meaning that this service, this business service we have here is going to fetch data coming from the repository. So you're going to auto-wire the repository into the service and to do that, you create a private uh, type, a private variable of the repository type. So I'm going to say private country repository country repository and I'm going to add the auto-wired annotation here. Okay, so it's simply, yeah, I explained this, auto-wired is for dependency injection. I've explained it in, in a different class. And now we are going to auto-wire the business service into the controller. So I'm going to the controller now. In this case, we are going to auto-wire the business service into the controller. So I'm going to create a private type of the business service type of the business service class. So I'm going to say country service, country service, and I'm going to auto-wire it by putting the auto-wired annotation here. So at this point, I'm ready to uh, fetch data from controller to be, uh, true business service to the repository to the data store and send it upwards to the HTML page. So I'm going to stop now. I would like to remind you to subscribe and also thank you for viewing. Let's now actually write the code to fetch data in the next class.